You know what is cool? Is finally letting Dan uh, read these merch messages to us. Did, did we do one? Yeah, I think he did one. Maybe. Nice. Who knows? Nice. Uh, okay, yeah, let's see, what do we have? Um, hello, LLD, I worked at Geek Squad and have some nice. wild customer stories, like yeah. a customer wrapping a hard drive in aluminum foil to not get hacked on the way out. Any crazy stories from any of, of you? Yes. Oh? Yes, I keep forgetting to tell this story. Ooh? There is one time where, one time in my life, when I was like an adult, because I mean, my brother was around and saved me when I was a kid. But there was one time in my life when I was adult where I needed another like man to like physically protect me. And it was when I worked at Geek Squad. I don't even know if I fully what? told you this. Story. I don't think I've heard this story. I think I might have, but it was a long, long time ago. So I worked at Geek Squad and something that I did that was bad was every once in a while when people would come in and they would talk about needing websites, like they would need a website to get made. You didn't. I would definitely offer my services outside of oh Geek Squad. Oh my goodness. Dude, I was a kid, I didn't have any money. Yep. Paying me like yep. nothing, I'm getting, yep. I'm getting it done. And this wasn't a service that they offered. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You can't get a website made by Best Buy. So anyways. Look, I'm not saying what you should or shouldn't have done. I'm just saying Geek Squad, Geek Squad probably wouldn't have liked it. Oh no, not at all. That's it was all like I'll say. Extremely against the rules. But, yeah, that's I mean, all I'll say. It's been a long time, it's probably fine. Um, Anyways, so I, I had a few different <laughs> contacts. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Nerdy in Floatplane Chat says, I know a guy. His name's Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. A little scrapyard um, Wars joke there. He, he, probably, the he probably could have handled it. I added the second part. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, and there's, so I had a few clients that went through there, and it was always, it was always good. And then uh, one dude came in, and I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. We met uh, to, to figure out. This was outside of work with just him and I at some restaurant to like figure out the details over the thing. I ended up figuring out that it was like a, the world is ending website thing. Sure. Yeah, 2012, uh, 2012, man. Yeah. The world's going to end in 2012. And he wanted me to do it for free because he was like, this is your contribution to like the cause or whatever. And I was like, nah, like doing this because I am an extremely broke child. Because I was still working at Geek Squad, so I was like actually a teenager still. Um, and this guy ended up stalking me for a while, quite legitimately, because he decided at some point in his head that I was the only person who could do this. And he was like, the world's going to end. We need to get the, the word out. And this is the only person who can do it. Um, and he would come into like the, the Best Buy that I worked at and like watch me from far away and we just kind of dealt with it for a while because he wasn't actually really doing anything and then one time he like tried to get into the geek squad back room and one of the like more senior um did the in-home work i don't know what they're actually called but they're like the higher level geek squad technicians that i was working with in like the suit and stuff that like look cool physically removed him from the store for me and that was really freaking cool and i remember thinking like this feels weird because like I feel like I should be able to do this but at that point in time I'm not touching this dude I don't want to go anywhere near him I'm mostly like creeped out it's not like a physical challenge for me at this time and then guardian angel guy came in swooped him out of the store and made it very clear that he should never come back and the dude never came back and it was great and that was probably one of the many craziest things that happened when I worked at Geek Squad there was like one issue where we used to have the monitors, like if this is, so Geek Squad, when I worked there, um, one of the times that I worked there, there was a public like window into the Geek Squad back area. So there was a cutout, it wasn't a window, it was a, it was a cutout, so you could come up to like the service desk thing and basically like look into the service desk area, you could put your computer through the window, etc. They're called CIA agents, yeah, that's right. I don't remember what it stood for, but anyways. Um, and the monitors, for the computers that we would work on were against this wall, assuming the windows here. So you could see them and it happened more than once where people's screensavers defa <laughs> defaulted to their like local folders or whatever, which would have photos of them and their partners doing things. Um, so eventually the precinct is what they called it was redesigned so that, uh, 
customers wouldn't see back there. And it wasn't because we were like trying to hide what we were doing quite legitimately. It was because we were trying to hide what you were doing. Also, I wasn't the one who found it, but we aided the police one time in arresting someone who had CP on their computer. We brought him to be nice. Fixed. Yeah. Speaking of the police, um, I was reading in the news that there was a counterfeit phone bust, like hundreds of phones uh, in like Maple Ridge or something. Whoa. And um, like the investigation was ongoing for a while. I would guess with that many devices, there's some level of organization in this operation. And so I reached out to a buddy who works in admin at the RCMP and I was like, hey, I know this is sort of unconventional, like, you know, evidence lockers and stuff like that, but can I get some of these phones? Uh, and can we do like a collaborative yeah. thing where yeah. we Awareness essentially, yeah, yeah, we talk about sort of, you know, how, what, how you can identify these devices, how yeah. these networks work. Uh, you guys obviously want some attention on this, on this bust because like I read an article about it. So clearly you guys want people looking at this thing. So I think, you know, we can help each other out here because I think that has a lot of relevance to my audience. And I heard back, nothing's for sure, but they are a high level of interested in working together and they may be able to get us at least one device so that we can nice. kind of talk through, um, you know, are they the exact same as anyone's getting on AliExpress? Are they stolen? Are they modified? Like, what are we, what are we looking at here? What kinds of phones are, because for me, a big part of it is how does the scam work? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because a lot of the stuff on AliExpress, a fake iPhone or whatever, it's pretty obvious it's not an iPhone from the second you touch it. So like, what's the scam here? And so it'd be really cool to hear from people who have actually, you know, worked with the victims and stuff like that. And uh, I think I think it'd be a pretty cool I think it'd be a pretty cool video. Uh, Doctor O says, "Not sure if it's legal, but you should be dressed as RCMP in that video." Definitely, Definitely not, legal. not legal. Yeah, I I will not be doing that. But but if it I could get, it would be funny if you had like a fake cop. Like if I could get in a cop costume. car or something. Oh. like you know, I'd be I'd be down. I've never been in a cop car. They should put you in a jail cell. Um, that'd be a really good intro. Yeah. Is like, they probably like can. slamming it shut on me. Yeah. yeah. So, let me see what they're able yeah. and willing to do. But I think that this is a really cool opportunity for them to get some eyes on some of the work that they do. That isn't, you know, some of the things that they do. <laughs> And, you know, maybe an opportunity for us to tell them what's important to us and say, hey, this is actually something really important that you guys are doing. Do more of it. <laughs> you know, maybe everyone, maybe there can be good vibes and good messages here is all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, cool. Sorry, no, I've never head, actually been handcuffed. Stuck in. Yeah, me neither. My head is stuck in trying to imagine the intro to that video. <clears throat> maybe that should be my next phone. <laughs> uh, After the iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, there's... Um, no, I don't think I'll get to keep it. Um, there's like also it, concerns about, like, what's on the phone. Yeah, I'll just be borrowing it. I'll be borrowing it. Yeah. 